sat down to write the riff for Amy Jane, the things that I had in my mind were perpetual motion, something that was really catchy that you can sing along with even if there's no lyrics and no vocalist, you know, like this. <laughs> Forgive my not great singing. So basically, you've got to have that, but also the thing that a lot of DJs do is cut part of a record to pieces and they go, oh, I like that bit, and then they just loop it. But they don't realize that actually what's going on is a parentless chord progression, which means that it never goes back to one, so there's no resolve in it. So when I wrote the chords and the bass lines of this tune, I had that very much in mind. So I wrote something that had a little bit of Tropical House and R&B elements to it, but also, didn't have that going back to one, so you've got this kind of perpetual motion. So, same thing with the riff basically, it doesn't start on one and it kind of like folds back into itself, you know that. Tim Scott, the track's called Amy Jane, go and check it out on Spotify or Apple iTunes or whatever you listen to music on. Thanks for watching, see you next time.